Hi guys, welcome to another video. I thought I'd do a quick walk around on the Baja we built last year, 2023 Volksworld show. Um, this is probably our craziest build to, to date in terms of paintwork. So it's got full on low rider style paint. Um, Neil Hansford who owns it kind of gave us free reign to a certain extent. He chose the, um, the color combo and then Chris just drew a center line down the roof and started from there. There's around 600 hours in body and paint on this. Um, it's got a full bug eye Baja kit on it. So the wings are fiberglass, the boot lid or engine lid or whatever you want to call that is a fiberglass. The front panel and the bonnet are all fiberglass. Got mini headlights, which we detailed in black. Um, we fitted these little poppers for under the bonnet. Body work wise, or metal work wise, I should say, um, there was a lot of work restoration wise. It was a 1200, I think it's a 69 beetle, 70 beetle. It was in pretty poor shape. Um, had the usual heater channels, body mounts, that sort of thing. It would have had half moon vents here, which we welded up and lead loaded in. And then, because we didn't want running boards, we extended the bottom of the rear quarter and smoothed out under the door, because normally there'd be a recess there for the running board. We've got earlier rear lights, which are um, a modern LED upgrade. Yeah, other than that, we've just got a bit of crazy paintwork. So we've got kind of the starburst with shading along the, the wings, bubbles and fish scales. Um, the side is partly inspired from um, a friend's Porsche 912. It's got custom paintwork. Got some honeycomb pattern on the front. It's really hard to pick up in this light. Got our logo painted in. And then the best bit by far is this roof. Absolutely love this roof. We've got some honeycomb here, some gold honeycomb, and then the reverse just here. can imagine it turns a lot of heads we've got a bit of custom paintwork on the tinware as well so we've got water droplets here we've got like a, a hatching here and more water droplets both sides um, we've done a wire tuck on this so all of the wires other than obviously your HT leads are hidden but even these are run through the fan shroud so it's a nice clean look to the engine Custom exhaust, custom made wheels, 16s and 17s. So yeah, it's a mechanically pretty simple car. Um, we wanted the, the emphasis to be on paintwork and Chris absolutely nailed this. Let's have a look at the inside. So the inside was done by Dave the Trimmer. Um, it's got these modern Recaro, I think they're CS bucket seats, trimmed in sort of uh, aged leather with um, woven leather centres. We've got a bit of an old school theme on the harnesses, Simpson harnesses. Bit of custom paintwork in the back. You've leathered the, leathered the tunnel as well. And then this lovely Momo steering wheel which we detailed in gloss black. And then uh, Reap Automotive Design did the Speedo for us. We sent him the paint over and he did a little bit of nice detail on that. We sort of backdated the dash a bit with the trim through the center, cleaned up the dash, a bit more custom paintwork along the top and we painted the uh, ashtray as well. So yeah, really nice this.
Nice Alcantara headliner. Funky door cards as well. It's come in for a service and um, a check over for a road trip to EBI in Belgium later in the year. It's going to be set up on the rolling road uh, just to make sure that the fuel mixtures are right because I think it's running a bit rich. Um, so yeah, let us, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Okay, so as mentioned, the Baja's come in for a service and check over. I just wanted to see uh, the colour of the plugs to see if it was running rich. Um, as you can see, when I put it out, it is black and sooty. So we're right to send this off to the rolling road. They'll rejet it and uh, yeah, get those fuel mixtures right. First things first, I drained the oil out of the sump and I whipped off the rocker covers. The left hand rocker cover came off nice and easy but something didn't quite feel right when I undid the bolts on the right hand rocker cover. I'll show you what the problem was in a minute. With the sump plate and rocker covers off I gave everything a nice clean before fitting new gaskets and seals. Okay, so when I undid the right hand bolt on the rocker cover, it actually wound the stud out of the head. As you can see here, the stud is still stuck in the rocker shaft itself. As you can see, I removed the stud from the rocker shaft, I've cleaned everything up and then put some Loctite on the stud and refitted it into the head. I then talked it to spec, popped on the o-ring and spacer and refitted the rocker shaft and talked to those nuts to spec as well. Okay, so with the rocker shaft nuts torque to spec, I set about setting the valve gaps, started on number one, set the clearance and then moved on to number two. I think all but one valve were tight so they really did need doing. I then moved over to the other side and set the valve gaps on numbers three and four. Whilst we had the Baja up in the air, I gave everything a good inspection, made sure the brake hoses and everything were good, and then dropped it down a little bit lower to check the wheel bearings. The front left bearing had quite a bit of play in it, so I whipped off the wheel and tightened the wheel bearing up. Next up was to let the engine warm up and then I could check the timing. Mm -hmm. 
as you can see we've set the timing to 30 degrees max advance. This is probably on the reserve side but once it's on the rolling road this will get adjusted for optimal performance. Okay so let's do a quick walk around on the Baja. We've got a line bug beam um, and drop spindles in here. It's a pretty kind of standardish setup. Um, we've got adjusters to adjust the ride height um, and the, the spindles drop it two and a half inches as well. We've got a rebuilt and detailed steering box. Um, brake wise, we've got these nice wheelwood brakes on here again from Line Bug. We had um, all of the bolts on this car use these countersunk washers and we had the beam bolts made um, and we now sell these. A really nice kind of custom touch. Same with the um, steering damper bolts and everything like that. Um, that's our fuel pump <clears throat> and it uses jig fittings. And we've got our fuel filter this side. Detailed master cylinder, just a standard master cylinder. Everything's been powder coated and painted um, in this gray metallic color. You can't really see the metallic fleck in it at the moment, but when you get a light on that, it really pops. And it was done to match these wheels um, that were made for us by Augment Wheel Company um, in Canada. They're loosely based on a modern GT3 Porsche wheel, uh, running 16s at the front and 17s at the back. Um, as you see, all the floor pan washers are those same countersunk bolts. Then at the back, we've got a fully built swing axle gearbox, uh, running these really nice Protec shocks. We, um, we get those made custom to length. They're really nice, aluminium bodied, uh, really high quality product made in the UK. We've got stepped spring plates. I think they're from um, EVA Resto. And again, we've got Wheelwood disc brakes on the back from Linebug. We've got a five bar Kafer brace. Um, in my opinion, not enough people fit these. They really stiffen up these frame horns. You get a wheel hop when you uh, dump the clutch and you've got a few revs. So what this does is stop all of this flexing. Basically the whole back of the chassis starts doing that when you get wheel hop and it just strengthens that up and stops that happening. Uh, the engine is a 1776 from the VW Engine Company. A uh, really nice unit that. We fitted loads of these. They build a really good engine. Running twin 40 IDFs. Everything's painted and detailed nicely. Tinware is probably one of my favorite things on this. And then a wicked Baja exhaust, uh, custom made by Overkill Performance. Really nice item this. And then yeah, our 17 inch GT3 style wheels on the back. All of the wheel bolts, uh, sorry, the wing bolts are the um, countersunk M8s as well with the special washes. Not an awful lot going on on, on the underside. It's a relatively standardish kind of build for us um, on the underside. But um, something nice is we capped all of the heater channel off. So you get this nice clean transition through here instead of having the uh, instep for the heater channel. We've kept the, under the bonnet pretty clean and simple with just a little bit of striping on the tank. Behind the cover is an air-cooled auto elect loom. Ian did a fantastic job for us once again making a custom loom for the car. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, check out the slideshow we did on the build of this car. A link to all of our suppliers is in the description. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave us a comment. See ya.